to ever come out of Africa. Yeah, it was real. Wow. And then George Finidy. Yeah, yeah, I know you, you're passionate about Finidy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the best, I think. Ikeshirumu. Yeah. Wow. Well, I have Taribu West. Babayaro. Uh, Babayaro. Celestine Babayaro. Kanu. Mutu. Um, Adekwaji. Yeah. Which <laughs> is a very disciplined player. Wow. And Taribu is uh, very, very good and very disciplined. Yes. You know? And I think uh, these kind of players are people that we need in the NFF, you know. Mm. You know, we need some players with uh, leadership quality. It's not all the players, but players like Talibo Wise, Mutu Adeboju, I think they can play some part at the NFF. Good yeah. if we can uh, encourage uh, some of the ex-players. Mm. Yeah. I was speaking with Tijani Bamaginda just a few weeks ago. He went to Nigeria and he just actually got back recently. How was it like playing in the same team with Tijani and Finidi? I know at times they play the same wing, mm. but I don't know. I can't remember this much. I don't know how they played. I think the two players are wonderful players. Tijani Bamaginda is very, very fast. He has speed. And Finidi George is very technical and his ball sense is very high. And he can use both legs. He's not a selfish player. Wow. Mm, so it's, it was... Wow. And I must say, I must admit, because that is you there, that's the only player I didn't, I didn't pick who that is. It's uh, Bengu Kunowo. Okay. He was in Barcelona Kunowo. this time. Yes, I remember. Yeah. With Amunike as well, yeah, in Barcelona. Yeah, yeah, Amunike. Wow. So going from the picture, um, we, we have a, a, a question from one of your fans mm. who said that they can recollect that you were in the same squad with Kodrimi Okwara. And mm -hmm. even in the national team as well, um, he played for Strasbourg and he played for Paris Saint Germain. Yeah. I believe he was uh, Okocha as well. Also played for Paris Saint Germain yeah. as well. I don't know if they were in the same squad together. They were in the same squad together. Same. And you played for Lons as well. Yeah. How can you, as a footballer, I'm just mending the question from uh, one of your fans, but as a footballer, how can you be mentally strong to jump over temptations to be strong to focus on your career? You know, it it, it can't be a, an easy job. First and foremost, you have to get a good manager. It's very, very important because uh, the ma manager plays a key role. Some of the players that play in the top team are the managers that they work with. Mm. Because the European mentality and Nigerian mentality is totally different. The way they see things here and in Nigeria is not the same. There are some things you do in Nigeria or in Africa you can get away with it, mm. but here you cannot. So you you have to be very careful as mm. a professional. You first of all you have to be loyal mm. to the coach mm. and to the manager. I think if you are loyal to them, I think you have chance. And if you if you work very hard, even the strong men they also struggle. Yes, that's true. You understand? You there will be time, things will be tough for you. But keep on. Mm. Even players go through a lot, a lot of things. You know, I played in a lot of leagues. Yes. Sometimes you must be better than the their their own player. Mm. You must be three times better. Three times better. Yeah. Before the coach will, will pick you, you understand. So you will see sometimes that you are in a team, you are better than the striker, but he keep on playing. There's a lot of things that need to be done for you to perform or for you to do well in Europe. And what, what personal advice do you have for Godwin Okwara? Mm, I think, um, I hope that everything will be fine. You should just take it easy and with time, everything will be over. I feel like taking these pictures with me. I remember, I don't remember this, but I remember that Jesse. Did Oguntu Ashi on that system. Uh, wow. Under 16 uh, national team. Wow. Mm. Amazing. This is a classic feature. <laughs> where is Chidi mm. Omutuashi? He's a coach now. Played for under 16, under 16. Under 17. That was mm. one team. And this game, um, wow. I didn't even know that you were captain. This game, this was against Japan. It was against Japan. Wow. I was captain. We played in Japan. It must have been a proud time yeah, to, was, lead, to lead the yeah, Super League as a captain. Super, yeah, as a captain. It was wonderful, mm. yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah. And um, just from this, I'm just going to, um, you know, the current um, national team and the World Cup that is just coming up in less than three months, we have um, South Korea. Mm. 
your experience is immense, you know. I don't know, um, I know in, in, in Europe, even for instance now Beckham got injured, mm. the team is still saying, Fabio is still saying, you can come, you know, mm. to come and support the team. Mm. For instance, I just think personally that your, your knowledge on, on football, I mean, we've been speaking, I remember mm. we were speaking about German football, the, their tactics mm. is immense. Mm. Not even say about Asia. Mm. I expect the NFF to give you a call and, you know, mm. because we can, knowledge is power, you know, mm. but anyway, there you go. Mm. But what's your advice? Because you know how these Asians, how fast they are, how skilled they are. What's your advice? How do we approach that game? Knowing all the problems we currently have, we just got uh, a new last coach. new coach, and um, we just had the Nations Cup. Obviously, the coach has to start afresh, yeah. learn the players, and then we're going to walk up in a few months. And I think we should uh, get behind the Nations Cup, and um, I think the coach, uh, Nigerians, they should be warned that uh, the coach uh, need time. They also need support of the. Uh, local coaches to tell him uh, the, how the players, uh, how the quality of the players, because it's not easy for him. He need to adapt to the to the style of uh, the Nigerian uh, players. Yes, I'm optimistic that uh, Nigerian will do well. The NFF uh, they have done well, especially uh, Taiwo Bunjobi. Mm. He's a powerful manager. Yes. Because when I was uh, in the national team, he's like a father to us. Wow. Yeah, Ogunjobi encouraged the players. He tell us to come on and this and... He was uh, formerly of the, the general manager of 3SC. Yeah, yeah. A few days ago, um, if you remember, uh, we were just talking about the national team, about um, the way we, we... I mean, though we have a new coach now, he's a Swedish guy, Lars. Lars... Um, Hopefully he'll do well. He didn't qualify Swedish for the World Cup, but he's got experience. Um, but I just want to um, get your opinion on this. Um, I remember what you said, but what's your take on balancing a team? I think we need to stay compact as a team. And we also need to pick players that fit each other. That fit each that other. That fit each other. Mm. Like in Europe, they all know the basis. You know? Every player know, had nowhere to play one or two touches. One or, two one or two touches, and they know where they have to dribble, and everybody knows what is doing on the field, and everybody knows how to go in the attack, and everybody knows how to defend. Mm. We have to be disciplined, and we have to stay compact because when you stay compact, it's very difficult for the other team to play or to score to because you are always in the block, and when you have the ball, you can pass to each other also. On your screen, you see. A young guy called David, as Benedict's first child, David Akwebu, he's skillful, as a, we will say, as a proverb, like father, like son. A lion can only give birth to a lion. If a lion gives birth to a crocodile, I mean, everyone has to run away. Um, he's a footballer. He will tell you what he does, the club he wishes to play for, and the national team he wishes to play for as well. Don't forget, he's an Austrian and Nigerian. So now, there's a dilemma. Where does he want to play for? You hear this first on Toshmark TV show. Watch out, you see this guy here, he's going to make it big, he's a star in the making. So I introduce to you, David Akwebo. How are you, David? <laughs> um, tell us, um, um, I know you, you play football, um, you play in a, a certain position, you're a striker, just like Daddy. And I know you follow Daddy, you, Daddy is your role model. You, he scored a lot of goals for Nigeria for, in the Champions League against so many, many clubs. And now you're trying to follow in his footsteps. Tell me the club you currently play for. Um, Charlton. Charlton. You play for Charlton. Is that the youth team that play together? Yeah. And you go there, you do a lot of training. Yeah. But which country would you like to play for when you grow up? Nigeria. Nigeria. Wow, wow, wow. And which club would you like to play for? Manchester United. Manchester United. And you would like to play for Nigeria. Okay. So guys, David has been kept for us because he has to go to school tomorrow. So thank you so much. So see you later. Thank you.